So I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes five years ago, and this is the story of my diagnosis. Cause I am happy on this island, wanna be my fun left. I don't ever want to leave, I'm in a Let's flash back to the summer between my freshman and sophomore years of high school. One thing I was really looking forward to at the time was space camp since I wanted to be an astronaut at the time. I remember going to space camp and having an absolute blast there, but it was all overshadowed by one thing. I can't remember exactly when it happened, but sometime at space camp, I began drinking water fervently and going to the bathroom almost once an hour. I didn't know it at the time, but these are two main signs that you have untreated diabetes. However, I just brushed it off, thinking I was dehydrated and it was just the heat of the summer making my body react like this. Eventually, camp ended, my family came and picked me up and we headed back to Richmond, where I live, thinking everything was gonna be just as it was before. I was in the middle of summer cross-country training at the time, and I remember suffering so badly on every single run. I really just couldn't understand why I was performing so poorly and why I was hurting every single time I took a couple steps. I remember specifically my coach saying, Hey man, um, it's gonna be alright. Some days are just bad and um, you just gotta make sure that you're prepared. Uh, so, you know, don't let it get, don't get too low, don't get too high. Um, but just uh, let's see if we can figure out what's going on and, and get you back up there. You'll have a better day. But it just never got better. Eventually my mom, since moms are always right, noticed the changes and said, Tyler, I'm getting a little concerned with all the water that you're drinking at night and you know, falling asleep during track practice. I think maybe we need to call the doctor. I argued with her and said all of these things were just natural, but she uh, persisted and scheduled an appointment on August 25th, 2014. When I woke up that morning, I had no idea that my life was gonna change forever. Going into the doctor's office, I weighed 98 pounds, when I usually weighed 120. The next thing I knew, my doctor was saying, So, Tyler, we've got some lab results here. And it looks like what we're seeing is that your blood sugar is really abnormally high. And that would be most consistent with diabetes. And just like that, my world flipped completely upside down. I was scared out of my mind and had no idea what this diagnosis would mean for the rest of my life. I was visualizing everything from inch long needles piercing my skin to possibly dying in the next year. Obviously, none of that was true, but as I lay in my hospital bed over the next two days learning about this life-altering disease, I was just a scared 15-year-old boy. After two days, I was able to go back home, feeling a bit more confident about my diabetes care. Still though, there were numerous question marks about the running, eating, and social aspects of my life. So today, almost five years after I was diagnosed, I am running faster than I ever have before, eating much healthier, although I still am eating the desserts I thought I would have to give up forever, and I'm just as social in my life as I was pre-diagnosis. Diabetes has definitely impacted my life, there's no lie about that, but it definitely wasn't the life-ending disease I thought it was going to be when I was first diagnosed. Through proper care and education, you can do anything you did before diabetes, just with a little bit more attention. So this was my type 1 diabetes diagnosis story. It was so long ago, almost five years, but I can remember it as clear as yesterday. Thank you all for watching and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other diabetes videos. What's up guys, it's your man Austin Hodge and we're here with my friend Tyler. You might not know him though, cause uh, this is obviously uh, my YouTube channel, not his, but yeah. Uh, great day out here.